My name is Lovely. What's yours? Joe Shabatnik. Ooh, Joe. <laughs> you have a really sexy voice. Teresa Randall plays an out-of-work actress who gets a job as a phone sex worker in Girls 6, Spike Lee's new film. And in the course of her experience, a strange thing happens to her. She gets involved in the online fantasies and begins to enjoy the phone sex as much as her clients do. Yes. While Girls 6 is still new on the job, she discusses possible phone sex fantasies oh at a training session. Naomi Campbell plays another Hello. trainee. This is Mistress Marlene. I heard you've been a naughty boy. Now pull down your pants and bend over my knees. You're going to get spanked. Playing roles on the phone creates opportunities for the movie to parody many different kinds of roles, and Teresa Randall is seen as if she were on The Jeffersons, and as Foxy Brown, a character made famous by Pam Greer. Sex Hall of Fame. As she gets into her job, only her next door neighbor voices objections. He's played by Spike Lee himself. So what does that have to do with your acting career? What happened to that? I'm still an actress. How are you acting? What? How are you acting? You're not on stage, you're not in front of the camera, you're on the phone. How are you acting, talking on the phone? Girl 6 is an ambitious film, but I'm afraid it's not a very well thought out one. It wants to say a lot of things about acting and sex and fantasies and imagination, but what it doesn't provide is a convincing idea of what Girl 6 is really thinking and really feeling. Spike Lee is trying, I think, to show how Girl 6's role playing is connected somehow to all the roles that all of us play, and I admire him for using pop culture icons and fantasy sequences in an effort to explore that material but the movie is sort of disorganized and it never really added up for me. You know, nice. I felt Jennifer Jason Lee's phone sex girl in Shortcuts, the Robert yeah. Altman film, oh, yeah. had more just in oh, no scenes about... than this film. This had. is Spike, Spike Lee's first bad film as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. I was very disappointed. It's, to say the least, sort of disorganized. I couldn't figure out what he was really saying. He throws in a real life episode of some real human tragedy mm -hmm. with a, a girl in the housing projects mm -hmm. meeting tragedy. Yeah, what and was that about? Well, you know what, I think he may be saying, hey, look at the world is distracted through this sexual preoccupation mm -hmm. and all this phone talk and here's something real going on in the world. But you know what, as I saw that, I would say, you know, I'm more interested in this little girl story than I am in this phone sex stuff. Mm -hmm. Also, I think that the, the parodies and all that are fairly obvious and quite predictable and beneath him in a way. You know that an actress, we're, we're way ahead of this picture mm -hmm. because he shows us all of her frustrations for about 20 minutes, it seems like, before she takes the job. Now, come on, we, we already know what this movie is yeah, about. We've already seen the scenes uh, yeah. with a lecherous director and so oh, forth. Oh, that's bad and another stuff. Thing, another thing, this movie is allegedly told from the female point of view. I think it's really from a male point of oh, view, and yeah. I'll tell you why. There's a scene in the movie where she goes to meet a client that she talked to on the phone, right. and she's going to go out with him on a date. Right. I think that's what the clients would like the girls to do. I don't think that's very often what the girls I, do. I, it's not good work. Come